decades ago, by powers unknown, will continue to guide Concord Valley for another four great years. Stay tuned as we cover Mayor Hughes' desperate bid to get out of office. The doorbell rings. When you open the door, you can't see the people behind all of the balloons. Whoops! Ian pulls down a few balloons and reveals himself, Cedro, and Alex. Whoops, I, uh, might have gone a little overboard with the balloons. Whoops. Well, are you going to just stand there all day or let us in? You stand aside and they all parade in. They look positively festive. Alex and Cedro have sashes on, obscuring red, white, and blue letters. The balloons, following closer examination, have a variety of slogans. The one closest to you reads, NOT AGAIN, in all capital letters. You don't even have the TV on! She remedies the on situation quickly. Ian helps lay out chips and cookies for everyone to snack on. Already, he starts taking some of the cookies man. for himself. Do you to think Mayor Yu will stay in Americans? office? I hope so. Ball oh, come on. Country. After everything she did last Tempted year? The Poison Act? The staple gun measures? She's clearly the best choice for mayor. Choice? Ha. Huh. She only made and those to get removed from office. Everyone knows that, Sidro. Don't be a, a spoiled sport. Come on, the staple gun measures? Right. Look at how much safer Don't everything has been has since we've been, been able to staple the rates to the nearest tree. I hope she never leaves office. Her attention is captured by the TV, where a woman walks up to a microphone. She has a ferret nestled around her neck. And you realize, as it readjusts itself around her neck, that it's alive. She doffs a wide sombrero, using it to fan herself, making her rainbow tie-dye shirt wave in the wind she demands. Everyone, I've been chosen by the unknowable gods 12 years ago to become your mayor. I've created law after meaningless law to try and get fired. I know none of us have a choice in who the mayor is. But I believe, if you all just try, just try... Believing that I am a bad mayor, maybe I can finally stop being the damn mayor. <laughs> I hope she never leaves office. She's so passionate and so official. I hope she gets drafted into office again. You ask what he means by drafted. You know, the previous mayor just disappears and the new mayor just shows up in office. Oh, well... I'm not explaining that right. Sitcher, you explain it. It doesn't matter how we explain it. It won't make sense. <sighs> not with that attitude. And now for questions out of a hat. The mayor flips her sombrero upside down and begins to dig inside, reaching her arm deep into the abyss of the hat, until she starts pulling out little folded pieces of paper. First question. Will we get another hole in the ground? Ah! Okay, the hole in the middle of the Main Street intersection was supposed to stop traffic, not improve it. She tosses the paper aside. Next question. Will the Poison Act be extended to distant rivals who own resources we want? No! You like it? Too bad! I'm appealing it if I get into office, do you hear me? She throws the paper over her shoulder in disgust, before tossing the sombrero away as well. You all disgust me! I love how she uses the election to demonstrate the pitfalls of democracy. Any election is hopeless and pitiful and is honestly just an exercise in futility. Shut up, shut up, shut up! They're going to announce the results! Alex turns up the volume uncomfortably high and stares intently at the TV screen. The cameras are all pointing at the mayor, backstage, her hands clenched into tight fists. For a moment, she disappears. Ian gasps, and Alex slaps his shoulder to quiet him. She reappears, exactly in the same spot, sombrero neatly on the top of her head. Damn it! Alex yes! turns. Ian yes! applauds wildly. the bottom. I knew it. There you go. Not What She Seems was written by Savannah Hernandez and Natalie Kim and produced by Geometric Mistakes. The narrator is voiced by Natalie Kim. The radio host and little sister is voiced by Savannah Hernandez. Alex is voiced by Music Master. Cedro is voiced by Jimmy Good. Ian is voiced by Kieran Parrish. And Mary Yu is voiced by Claire. If you like what we do, please support us on Patreon.